this is the adventurer I've been reading about in the field reports. I am Melve Blufisfin, Admiral of Limsalominsa. On behalf of my people, I bid you thanks for the deeds you have done this day. A token of our gratitude? What worth is high regard without just reward after all? Since you first set foot in our city, my good friend Badaron and Commodore Rayner have taken turns at regaling me with tales of your exploits. Safe to say, they left an impression. Join me at the coming banquet. A seat of honor at the celebratory feast is the least I can offer the woman who foiled the Sahagin. Oh! <laughs> a seat at the feast! Oh, and don't be late. Your fellow guests will be eager to take the measure of their newest hero, and some do not take kindly to being kept waiting. Till then, may you walk in the light of the crystal. and sisters of the sea. Join me now in honoring this woman for her services to our great nation. May the navigator guide and protect her on her journey till sea swallows all. These pirates you encountered with the tattooed faces, they call themselves the Serpent Reavers. Their ranks are formed of cutthroats and madmen who have pledged themselves body and soul to the primal Leviathan. From what we have gathered, they sought to swell their numbers by spiriting away any soul unfortunate enough to cross their path. I need not tell you the depth of the animosity between us and the Sahagin. How any seaman worth his salt could devote himself to the Fishback's god is a question for a more temperate mind than mine. But, thanks to you, our citizens may once more go about their daily lives, safe in the knowledge that they will not be dragged into the darkness by those execrable cur... Such an extraordinary glow. This is one of the crystals of light by the Navigator. After our encounter with the Gubu, you had a vision, did you not, of a towering crystal? You bathed in her light. Yashtola's conclusion is clear, and I see no reason to doubt it. You are the vessel of a higher power. This being from your vision was the Mother Crystal. Your description matches what little we know of her. And if she has chosen you, then your deeds may yet shape the fate of nation as once did the deeds of the Warriors of Light. Know you the tale? Like you, they were not of these lands, yet they fought to protect us all against the corruption of the primals. When the Gallian Empire began its conquest of the realm, these heroes joined the Grand Companies and helped reforge the Eorzean Alliance. And at the Battle of Cartano, they took the field beneath our banners to fight for everything we hold dear. It was on that day, in the midst of that hell, that we lost them. Every soul who survived that battle will never forget how it was to fight beside them. We are proud to call them our comrades, yet whenever we try to shout their names, the sound dies in our throats. And whenever we strain to see their faces with our mind's eye, naught but their shadows appear to us, set against a blinding light. Ask any true Eorzean who knew them, and the story will be the same. It is for this reason that we call them the Warriors of Light. When I look upon you, I cannot help but be reminded of them. Keep that crystal safe. In time, I believe the Mother Crystal will make clear her reasons for bestowing it upon you. Heed well her words, adventurer, for it is Hydaelyn herself who speaks. Flames to the fore! Victory belongs to the bold! Show those Imperial whore sons what we're made of! The left flank buckles! Divert the barracudas! Bid them hold that position though it cost them their life! The yellow serpents are in need of succor. Pray, send the white wolves to their aid. The adventurers risk life and limb for our cause. We must not fail them.
it's all from this? No, it is nothing. Oh, oh, bloody hells! The barrier won't go down so easily! Eyes forward! We are being watched. Raging bull, calling Bloodthorn! Bloodthorn, respond! Respond, damn you! Rider, this is Raging Bull. What news? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. God, preserve what is that thing? What's going on? Speak to me! God damn it! We cannot hold much longer! Mad Snake! Mad Snake! Answer me! Damn it! Damn it all to the seventh hell! What are the barracudas? Can they not be reached? Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Soi. General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be no victor this day. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw, and let us be the ones to stand with Louis Soir. Delay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it! Relay the order. All flames are to withdraw. I don't care if our link shells are useless. You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody halfwit! The outcome of this battle was long since decided. Better to retreat now than risk a massacre. This dark, stifling presence. Who or what? We go to take our place beside Archon Louis Soir. To your positions.
from Ordona, led by the Egrios, mightiest of all vessels. Silver Tear Lake lay ripe for the taking, and all of Eorzea would soon be ours. Or so we believed. But an innumerable host of dragons met us that day, at the heart of which flew the great Midgard Zormer. Though we succeeded in slaying that lord among worms, the Dread Serpent's defeat was bought at too high a price. Our invincible flagship was lost, and all hope of victory with her, so ended our glorious conquest. Eorzea, a blighted realm, riddled with false gods. Twice now it has eluded the Empire's grasp. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control. Oh, and for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. Yet, it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. We are on one mind, Lord Van Balza. Senior engineers, please report to Magitech research following scheduled concession. Is Legatus really planning to take another tilt at Eorzea? Hey, what hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartina. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus's plan. Uh, my, my lord! Please, call me Nero. Tell me. Where were you born? Othard, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume? I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. <laughs> Clean up this mess, and do not miss any, or I shall be most displeased. At, at, at once, my lord. Garland, soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitech. So you are the Lamincin envoy, and an adventurer besides. The realm owes much to you and yours. On behalf of our fair nation, I bid you welcome, please. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Khan A. Senna, elder seed seer of Britannia, and leader of the Order of the Twin Adder, our nation's grand company. I understand you bear a message from the Admiral.
a guest from Limsa. I thought I smelled stale ale. I won't hold it against you. If you're half the warrior Mervib says, tis a wonder you don't reek of dead Sahagin. Welcome to the Sultanate of Uldah. I am Rabban al-Din, General of the Immortal Flame. But you did not come all this way to trade formalities. 